Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about what's new in iOS 11 Beta 7. Apple released this to developers earlier today. At the time of recording this video, and if you happen to be a public beta tester as well, you'll probably be seeing another update for your device, which would be public beta 6, also in just a little bit later today. So there's not that much to talk about this time around, but let's go ahead and jump in. So up first, if we head over to Control Center and navigate to the music widget, 3D Touch or Long Press on a non-3D Touch device, you're going to see that when you're not playing any music or sound from an app but you recently used it for example the music app right here it's going to show you the music app icon and at first i thought it would only show the music app if you weren't playing any music but i checked again and then all of a sudden the messages app popped up and if you were playing audio somehow through the messages app it's going to show you that icon instead of music it looks like whatever app you last used that you were playing audio from will show in control center instead of just an iphone icon like it showed you in previous betas Next up, Apple really focused on performance improvements for iOS 11 Beta 7. I can't tell you how fast this feels. Hopefully, you'll be able to notice it for yourself when you're watching this video. Unlocking your device is so incredibly fast. I thought it was fast in iOS 11 Beta 6, but they've completely revamped it where it is just ridiculously quick in iOS 11 Beta 7. All the animations here on my iPhone 7 look incredible. They feel buttery smooth and it feels really great. Like I feel like we're finally at that point with iOS 11 where if they shipped it as it was right now, Yes, there would still be a couple of issues and bugs, but overall, the vast majority of iOS 11 is in a really great spot. It feels pretty fast. I'm not sure if it is equally as fast as iOS 10. Maybe it's faster, maybe it's slower. I'll probably do a full speed test once the final version of iOS 11 is out, because still when I pick up a device running iOS 10, it tends to feel a little bit quicker. So if you guys are interested in that video, hit subscribe and stay tuned for that at a later date. But Touch ID is quicker for unlocking your device. The entire operating system feels a a little bit faster. App animations are very speedy, but overall I'm a huge fan of these changes and super excited to see that Apple has finally buckled down and fixed a lot of the speed and performance issues that we were seeing in previous iOS 11 betas. Moving on to the lock screen, the clock here is a little bit smaller than it was in previous betas. This was one of the more noticeable changes right off the bat in iOS 11 that made the time a little bit easier to read or just slightly bigger than it was in iOS 10, but in iOS 11 beta 7 it looks like that they've reverted that to basically the same size as it was an iOS 10. Now it's not clear if this is a bug or if this was intentional. We don't exactly know, but the clock is a little bit smaller and it's really not a big deal, but definitely something to make a note of. Now this next option is really interesting and it looks like it only affects European users as of right now. I'm in the US so I can't show you how it looks on my device, but apparently if you don't have the volume limit setting enabled in the music's preference panel, you're going to get this new yellow bar showing you where dangerously high levels of audio and sound are. It looks like, based on the comments I've read on Reddit, this is from a European law where you have to, I guess, notify a user or notify someone using the device when audio levels could get too loud to the point where I assume it would damage your hearing. Users inside of the United States do have access to a volume limit option, but we don't get this UI change like European users do. Anyway guys, as of right now, that is going to wrap up this video. Those are the changes inside of iOS 11 Beta 7. We are edging closer and closer each week to the iOS 11 release date. We don't have an exact date just yet, but based on previous release dates for iOS 9 and iOS 10 and probably iOS 8 as well, it's going to be released sometime early to mid to late September, just sometime in the month of September because that's generally when the new iPhone drops and Apple releases the newest version of iOS a week or two before the iPhone is released. Release. So it's very exciting coming up very quick. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like down below and of course subscribe for more videos on iOS and the iPhone 8 in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing fantastic and I'll talk to you later.